So now I'm inside this bathroom collecting items. And I have to watch out for these multiple bombs. They have like traps, you know, they have scattered that. There's one of them will actually cause the others to explode. So any hint of story, you know, that was that was in the Evil Within, it was it came from these letters, you know, and journals and notes and stuff, you know. You kind of get an idea of what was going on, basically with uh, Sebastian himself. Really trying to tell his backstory, so it kind of gave you like a little story, you know. But actually, in game wise, you know, it really wasn't that much. You never knew who this nurse was. I've been hearing like the reviews for the game. That's what a lot of the reviewers or people who have reviewed the game were hitting on and touching on. You know that the idea that it wasn't any like story or like really that much character development in it. But I could kind of look past that kind of stuff, you know. But I do notice it though. You know, it's like it's kind of like flat, you know. But if you want like a good gaming experience, you know, like a fun, you know, straight up, especially if you after like survival horror, even action to a certain extent, it, you, you can't go wrong with the Evil Within. Especially if you're a fan of say like Resident Evil, mainly Resident Evil 4 or like 5, even 6, but mainly like 4 or 5, like I mentioned before, you should like this this uh this game a lot too as well, you know. And I think that'll be like the last time you see the nurse, cause she does eventually uh like, go away. You know, you don't, you, you won't see her no more. There's one of the, uh, the Rubik look-alike enemies.
And this bomb is kind of different though than the usual bomb. Cause usually it must um, be kind of, you know, like straight up and down, whereas this one was turned to the side. So I kind of threw it off, you know. I think that was the first time I saw one of the bombs like that too. Look, pig. 